Hey, what is up guys, I by Yourself here, and finally, Apple released iOS 10.3.2 worldwide. Now, the software download for this iPhone 7 Plus was 2 gigabytes. There is a change on the build number, which was 14F5089A, that was on beta 5, which by the way, was in beta for about 2 weeks, and it's finally here. The current build number for the public release is 14 f 89. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, what do I do next? This software release was very important for jailbreakers. There was a lot of rumors that the Pangu team sold some exploits to Apple. Looking at some of the security logs, it doesn't look like the Pangu team was credited at all. So it doesn't look like the Pangu team contributed anything to Apple. But with that being said, the jailbreak that the Pangu team demonstrated was on an iPhone 7 running iOS 10.3.1. So what do we do now? Should you update to 10.3.1 now? or wait to see if the Pangu team announces anything. Here are my thoughts, and this is going to be only my thoughts in my opinion. 10.3.2 was released today, so we have about a week before Apple closes the window to sign 10.3.1, meaning that within a week or so, Apple will no longer allow anybody to update or downgrade to 10.3.1. But let's say the Pangu team uh, jailbreak, if they release it, doesn't work on 10.3.2, but they release it later after Apple stops signing 10.3.1 and the jailbreak only works on it. What happens then? Well, here is my theory and my thoughts on everything. Before I talk about anything, keep in mind that the Pangu team hasn't announced any sort of jailbreak being released, but I believe if they were to be releasing a jailbreak for 10.3.1 and 10.3.2 was to fix any flaw that would prevent them to do so, they have about five to seven days to release it if it doesn't work on 10.3.2 and I'm sure they'll let everybody know before that window closes. However, if the jailbreak works on 10.3.2, then if they do release a jailbreak, it should be within a week or so. So keep in mind, a jailbreak doesn't really release after a targeted software immediately. It usually takes about a week or two before they test all devices, they get everything in place before releasing a jailbreak. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all my devices running on the software that they're at. 10.2.1, 10.3, 10.3.1. Uh, these iPhones are all running different versions. You guys do as you wish with that information, but I believe that the Pango team is targeting 10.3.2, and if the jailbreak didn't work on it, they would let us know already. Now, the next couple of days will be very critical. Make sure you pay very close attention here to the channel. If you want to follow me on Twitter for the latest information, do so. The links will be in the description. But we're now looking for the Pango team to hopefully release a jailbreak. I'm very excited for the future, very optimistic. We'll see what the Pango team does as i mentioned no security credits were given to the pango team for 10.3 and 10.3.1 10.3.2 the pango team is nowhere to be mentioned so hopefully if they are targeting 10.3.2 within a week we'll know any sort of information if it doesn't work or if it does then we'll probably see a jailbreak for 10.3.2 in the near future if that's the software that the pango team is targeting fingers crossed i'm hoping for it myself i hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day as i mentioned pay very close attention here to the channel it's been iDevice Help, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.